Remember, Paths of Glory at its core is a deck management game. Consequently, the goal of the first few game turns is to call the 14 card mobilization deck. While it is possible to reach limited war by the end of turn 2, it is very easy for your opponent to withhold play of the Molke event until action round 6 of turn 2. This forces you to hold on to your Falkenhayn event into turn 3. Also, you'll have to play the 4 Ops Reichstag Truce card as an event on its first appearance. These two 4 Ops cards are better used for replacements on their first appearance. As an alternative, by playing exactly 7 cards as events in the first 2 turns, you can use the first appearance of the 4 Ops Reichstag Truce and Falkenhayn event cards as replacements in turn 1 or 2 and yet have a war status of 6 at the end of turn 3 with a minimum amount of mobilization cards clogging up your deck for the rest of the game. This permits an expeditious transit to total war while maintaining a moderate tempo of operations. The 7 cards to play as events in the first two turns are Guns of August, Zood Army, Oberost, Race to the Sea and or Entrench, Landwehr, wireless intercepts, and one or two of the three reinforcement events. Turn 3 will see play of Falkenhayn, Reichstag Truce, and the remaining reinforcement events. In this manner, no more than four of the 14 cards from the mobilization deck will be shuffled into the 20-card limited war deck. The randomness of the deck shuffle will determine which turn these events can be played, with the exception of the Guns of August. The Central Powers have three operational goals during mobilization, turns 1 through 3. 1. Don't allow the British Army to stay at full strength. The Brits have the most powerful armies on the Allied Powers side until the arrival of the United States. Any eliminated British armies have to redeploy from London, using operations points. 2. Knock the Serbs out of the war. If Belgrade hasn't fallen before the Allied powers reach limited war, Italy will be able to enter the war with little fear of being overrun. 3. Maintain stability on the Eastern Front. With a modest input of resources, the Central Powers should be able to prevent the Russians from crossing the Carpathian Mountains. Considering the operational and deck management goals, it is necessary to follow through on the Schlieffen plan and play the Guns of August as the first action of turn 1. This not only permanently discards a 3-ops card while providing two war status points, but also has a good chance of causing a crisis on the Western Front, fulfilling operational goal number 1. The 1st and 2nd German armies attack the BEF entrenched in Brussels. Both sides will take an army step loss. However, the BEF is irreplaceable and there is a 33% chance that it will have to retreat or take a second step loss, if it wants to stay entrenched. Given that no reinforcements can be deployed on the August 1914 turn, this creates an ideal situation in which to play Race to the Sea on a subsequent action round. The 3rd German Army can attack the French 5th Army in Sedan, with a good chance of occupying that key location. The second action round should use a 3 or 4 ops card to strategically redeploy 4 German corps from the reserve box to Collinsburg, Nova Sad, Lundkax, and Prezdel. Alternately, this 4th corps could be placed in Brussels or Sedan to threaten a play of race to the sea. This SR action firms up the Eastern Front defenses, and once the Zoot Army and Oberost events are played, creates opportunities to play wireless intercepts. Apparently Rasputin was too busy networking to unfriend the Kaiser from the Tsar's social media. Landwehr. Play on its first appearance, but make sure there are two depleted German armies first. Both the Allied Powers and the Central Powers have this card, and only one side can play it as an event. If given the opportunity, entrench Strasbourg against an opportunistic French attack. Race to the Sea. Best played if the BEF has been reduced to a core, forced to retreat out of Brussels, or both British reinforcement cards are on the Allied player's turn one hand. More discussion about this in the next episode. Reinforcement Cards 
Cannot be played as events on turn 1. Play for operations or replacements. Play as events on turn 2. The Austrian army should be placed in Vienna, three movement points away from the Italian frontier. Falkenhayn should be played for replacements unless Molke has been played by the Allied player. Play as an event on turn 3, even if Molke has not been played. Reichstag Truce. Play as replacements or operations on its first appearance unless Falkenhayn has been played. Play as an event on turn 3. Of course, these are not the only cards that are going to be played in the first two to three turns. Your opponent also has a deck of 14 mobilization cards to play. That will be the subject of the next episode. Time to finish your beer. Now is the call for a new beginning in the City of Light. As for the Third Republic, they're ready to go.